welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to tell you some stories. I love the sport. I still love it to this day. Um, but to be honest, being in the sport with the uh, people that I was with was somewhat miserable. So it didn't go very well. Um, so let's just, let's start from the beginning, shall we? I only did grades uh, 9 through 12, but I skipped my 11th grade year to work. Cheerleading was... I wish that it would have gone better. Um, it's still kind of a heavy topic for me just because I never fit in. Um, with the other girls really so I had like two or three friends um, that were really good to me and the rest of them kind of talked behind my back called me names called me weird all that kind of stuff when I was little there's this thing called rocket cheer here where I live and we had gotten sent home paperwork for it and Pretty much all the girls in my class I felt like were going to be a part of this and so I brought it to my parents and they instantly said no we don't have the money we don't have the time there there's no way that we're gonna be able to sign you up for this sport plus you're not gonna like it why don't you do soccer so basically I went home with this paper I'm like can you guys sign me up they were like no no not happening I was like why not? And this is like five-year-old cat at the time. I had a group of friends. I was in maybe like the semi-popular elementary school group, um, I guess you would say. Um, but basically, all the girls had gone and gone. So they had said no, and I was completely heartbroken. Um, and I never thought about it really again. I never got the chance until high school. And when I reached high school, I pretty much had to pay for it all myself. Um, I wanted my whole life to be cheerleading, whether it was um, being a cheerleader or a coach or anything. And that was from when I was little. Um, so, so when I was starting in high school, I was uh, the emo kid, so me and my group of uh, friends, we would dress in weird clothes, um, we would listen to weird music, um, we would um, just be real, real emo. <laughs> it was just one of those things where I was still, I was the weird kid to a lot of people and a lot of times people think cheerleaders are a ditzy bunch of beautiful girls that um, are terrible influences and all that kind of stuff. And it's really not. Um, a lot of the girls on the team are actually too smart for their own good. Um, and honestly, I think some of them could have done better. But basically, there, they were showing uh, tryouts for competitive cheer season, which starts like mid-October and goes through like the end of February, depending on, you know, if you, you do districts, regional, state, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I had the normal emo girl look, um, and I had saw that there were cheerleading tryouts, and in my head I was just like, this sucks, this is silly, blah, 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 because I wanted my friends to like me um, and not think that I was going to turn into some prissy princess. So I remember I was in my um, computer education class where we had to take like, we had this like giant binder, okay? and we had to do all the stuff by pages. We'd done it in middle school, but we also did in high school, and that included like Excel spreadsheets and all that kind of stuff where they were trying to show us how to use Microsoft stuff. So I was doing that 
Um, and I remember that one of the girls that I was sitting next to, she was, I think a junior at the time that I was a freshman. And I had told her, hey, there's cheerleading tryouts tonight. Um, I, how do you think the group would feel if I, if I went? And she was just like, oh, I don't think they would care or anything. Like, it should be fine. You'll, you'll be fine. You know, all that kind of stuff. I'm like, well, my crush at the time had turned around because he was in that class and was like, I bet you couldn't do it because he had been listening um, to her conversation. He had kind of defended me and was like, oh yeah. And he's like, yeah, I, I bet she can't. And she goes, well, I dare her to. And I was like, um, I was so scared actually. So, um, this friend, I was like, okay, well, if I have to go, you have to go. Um, she never showed up, by the way. So, my family at the time was kind of weird. We had, my birth dad's friends had came and lived with us. And so, I had known these, these two boys since I was... Well, since they were born before me, probably before that. So they've always kind of been like my brothers. So I knew that one of my brothers, sorry, I'm playing with this to keep my hands busy. Um, I knew that one of my brothers was dating a girl on the cheer team. And I knew that she was really nice because I was friends with her brother. Um, and so I was like, mm, it'll be fine. She'll be there. It'll be okay if I do anything embarrassing um, then obviously you know she'll be there to help me out a little bit I guess so comes to later and I go to this cheer tryout um, not knowing what to wear so I get changed everyone's stretching right so I decide I'm gonna sit down and try to stretch too. And I'm wearing these like skater van shoes, okay? Um, and they were like the old style, like they were black and pink and they were just like super comfortable, like not vans, like now where they're like thinner fabric, but it had like the squishy pillow front and everything like that. And I was told I needed to take off my shoes. So I did, I was like, oh, okay, well, this is a little too much for moi. Um, I, I'm uncomfortable. To what I had seen on TV, I just thought that you got on the mat and danced your butt off and everything like that. Lies. It's all lies. So for people who don't know, cheerleading is comprised of at least um, high school level cheerleading is comprised of three rounds. And so um, the first round is probably the easiest, but it's also the hardest at the same time. Um, it's a lot of visual work, um, a lot of opposites work. So usually the person directly in front of you is not doing the same thing that you are. Um, and so, yeah. Um, and then there's jumps in there. Um, and then also the second round is like, there's every, I think it's every other year they change and it's the first 10 um, moves and they're like all different. Um, I don't even remember any of them that I wound up doing back, back in the day. Um, but then uh, you do back handsprings and um, back walkovers and tucks and all that kind of stuff in round two um, and that's usually pretty much the fastest and dangerous round I feel like um, just because there's a lot of ways you can you can land on your neck seen it happen um, then round three is all gymnastics and also um, stunt groups so stunt groups are when you 
you get in a group and you pick someone up over your head, which is the flyer. So you have two bases usually, so people that are like this. Um, and you have one flyer, so the person that's up there smiling. Um, and then you have a back spot, which is holding the person's ankles, making sure that they don't, you know, fall down um, and die. Um, so basically that's usually what you have. Sometimes you'll have like a front spot if you're doing something really difficult um, and they'll be um, also holding the front parts of the leg and it'll give you more stabilization. So we had to split up into three groups. I had saw my brother's girlfriend and I was like, hey, I'm trying out. She's like, I know, I saw you. And uh, So basically she kind of took me under her wing for a hot second. Um, obviously she was surrounded by her friends, so that didn't last very long. Um, and she showed me how to back spot because we already had enough flyers and enough bases that could work together. Um, and so, um, I was learning how to do back spotting, which how we did it was there's one foot in the, po in the power bases hands, and then there's the other one, which will catch it once it gets up to here. Um, and so... Um, basically what I was supposed to do was I was supposed to grab her ankle and her butt and just hoist her up there. She's supposed to stand right up, but moving on. All that kind of stuff. I was terrified. I took a step back and just let her deal with it. Um, which was a huge mistake on my part, I really think. Um, just because that would show how the next few years would go for me so then um the next thing we had to do was gymnastics and so everybody had to perform um like two gymnastics things so um when we talk about gymnastics and cheerleading we don't talk about like Ooh, the balance beam or you know the uneven bars or anything like that like you would see it in a normal gymnastics routine um we're talking about just like oh can you do a standing um tuck can you do a back handspring can you do a back walkover can you do a front walkover uh can you do a somersault can you do a cartwheel round off you know you get the point Basically, I was one of the only people that had no skills. So, I was able to do a somersault from the ground and not very good. Um, and then I was able to attempt a cartwheel. It looked more like a bear crawl like you would do in gym class. Um, or for football or anything like that so i bear crawled it um the next one was we had to learn the first 10 um moves of round two along with some words and we had to come up with um our own little chant and do it to those words as well that was hard it's very difficult um, and then we had to show off flexibility, so, you know, the splits. And so, I was really good at those, so I was like, watch this, bitches. So, basically, um, I wasn't very good at stuff, so I was stuck on the JV team. Obviously, I was a freshman. Our school is a no-cut kind of school, so, um, I was on the JV team, and I had some good friends to help me really just fell in love with all that it was and then came our first competition and our second competition and so on and so forth and um I just continued to fall in love with the sport and finally when the season was over I was like I think I want to try sideline so then I tried sideline and everything like that but the thing is I not really good at making friends and not just when i'm surrounded by a bunch of cheerleaders who are actually good at stuff but just in general i'm pretty socially awkward 
um, and I get nervous, so I talk too much. Um, so a lot of people tend to stray from that, but I was also the weird kid. So being the weird kid, a lot of people didn't listen to me, didn't talk to me. Um, they knew I wasn't good enough. Um, and I think my coaches knew too, but my coach, um, she was always very sweet to me. Um, because she knew um, my situations and she knew that I wasn't, you know, I hadn't been training like the rest of the girls had been for my whole lot, for their whole lives. So, um, basically I was really sad, really torn up inside. Um, I'd cry every night I got home uh, just because I knew that the girls didn't make friends with them and talk with them and everything but I wasn't up to par with what they were used to being friends with um, so I was you know cast out and as you know high school is very rough very very rough um, so then So then I wasn't in a lot of rounds, um, CJV, I was pretty much in all three rounds for a week, and then round three I got taken out of, um, and par partially that was because of the pain that I was in, but then it just kept getting worse in, I think senior year was the most I had done anything, and even then, I was still removed from rounds because there was someone that and I liked being a part of a group of girls that love to do their makeup and their nails and um, have girl talk and go out to eat and do stuff together and my friend group was mostly like let's just go to this one person's house and go back out to the woods where there's caution tape maybe someone died out there who knows um which obviously wasn't bad either but i'm more of like a double-sided um coin there where i really like all the emo stuff especially the music um but being a girly girl is kind of where it's at for me so I was never really liked um, in cheer. There was rumors that were spread about me. And a lot of the time I had wished that I had never done it or that I would have been more persistent with my parents when I was younger so that I could have learned those skills to be as good as they are, you know? So, um, I really didn't get the chance to do all the things that I wanted to do, but I was a part of a few things and, um, that was good. But after high school, um, I really wanted to join a cheer team, um, like Victory or, I don't know, just, just something. I wanted to join a cheer team. Um, the only problem is the requirements required that I had, you know, at least a back handspring and that I was, um, you know, I had good jumps and their cut team. So I probably would have went in there and I would have been shot right out. They probably would have left me out of the building. Um, and it's hard because I really worked on it. I went to gymnastics every week. Um, we practiced gymnastics and stunting off to the side when they were running the regular rounds. Um, I tried to stay on my best behavior, um, but it kind of just like, it broke me in a way that I really don't know how to understand. Um, and then at one point I really wanted to coach cheerleading 
and I was really going to ask my coach, hey, can I help coach um, maybe like the middle school or something? But the problem is with that, is if you don't know what you're doing and you go in and you coach a bunch of these little girls that have a dream, you're not gonna do it right and then they're only gonna fail. And I didn't want to be the reason why they failed. Um, so yeah, it was pretty hard. It was hard to make friends. It was hard for them to like me. Um, I many times tried to force myself um, or at least force them to have relations with me. Um, and I know for sure that most of them were just doing it to pity me um, or to be like, oh yeah, 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 we're, we're cool, you know, we're, we're all good friends here, you know, this is a sisterhood, um, when it really wasn't. Um, and it's hard when you wanted something so bad and you love a sport so much that you don't get to experience it in the way that others experience it. So basically that was my cheer story. Uh, so uh, that was my cheer story. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and press that subscribe button so you can see more videos from me in the future. Um, I try to post every Sunday at 1 p.m. Um, and I am really trying my best on editing. So if any of you, you all have any uh, ideas, you know, shoot them my way because a girl wants to learn. Um, but thank you for watching. But also uh, thank you for 10 subscribers. So I'm hoping at the end of the year that we can get it to 15. Um, which obviously I know that these are small goals, but sometimes you got to start small. So like, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.